My book is not for kids. It is for young adults, age 14 through 18, grades 10 through 12. Lie number two, my book is not pornography. If any time sex is discussed, we consider it pornography. The only show that would be on TV is probably Sesame Street. My book details my first sexual experiences. Teens need to know about agency, consent, and that they have a right to say no and wait until they are ready. People wonder why the rate of sexual assault and abuse is so high in college and beyond. Look no further than the fact that you removed all texts teaching young adults about it. And before you tell another lie, I talk with teens all year. They are not being taught about it at home either. The final lie is that my book is introducing hard topics to teenagers and exposing them too soon. Any parent trying to ban our books has likely never talked to their teens about what actually goes on in their daily lives. I was a 13 year old nearly 25 years ago. Do you all remember what the hottest topic was that year? It involved a president and a woman named Monica Lewinsky. Every child, preteen, teenager, and adult in the country was introduced to sex that moment. That's the hard truth. Our books are not introducing teens to hard topics. They are simply the resource needed so that they can understand the hard topics that they are living out day to day. Finally, as a black queer person, I know what it's like to read books that don't tell my story. So in this hunt to protect teens, does it ever cross your mind that removing or restricting this life-saving story for LGBTQ students only harms them more? Or how removing this life-saving story for black teens harms them? Or do you not care because that's really what this fight is over? Removing LGBTQ stories and black stories. If you don't want your child to read it, that's fine. You have every right to not allow your child to read it. But you don't get to trample on the rights of parents like my mother and my aunt. Yeah. Who have raised LGBTQ. Yeah.